rating basis stock. Basis stocks include rectangular boxes, rectangular thrusters, and cylinders. Right-click on stock in the project view window, select rate stock, then select from three choices, block, rectangular thrustum, or cylinder. Here, let's select rectangular thrustum as an example. The properties dialog box for rectangular thrustum stocks will pop up. You can enter stock size measurement manually into the edit boxes, or you can click on auto calculate button to let software automatically calculate appropriate measurements. The expansion values on the button of the dialog box can be used to create allowances on the stock boundaries. They will take effect next time when the auto calculate button is clicked on. It's strongly recommended that the stock range on X axis does not extend beyond the range of the models to avoid creating paths outside the models. Paths outside the models could create safety hazards, such as tool hitting the machine platform or the timber, if there are no allowances for the stock. You can modify the stock size measurements freely, but the final sizes include in expansions should be as close to those of the actual stock as possible. The same applies to cylinder stocks. Cylinder stocks are suitable for models such as dragon columns, Roman columns, and the staircase columns creating molding stock. Molding stocks are 3D models scanning from actual models expanded with thickness. Right click on stock in the project view window, select load model file as stock, then choose the scanned 3D model file. You can set scaling factors in the model file loading options dialog box if the size of the stock does not fit models. After the stock model is loaded, you can rotate the view to see if the stock fits the models. You can edit the stock by right-clicking on the stock name in the project view window and then selecting transformation. The transparency of the stock can be toggled by right-clicking on the stock name in the project view window and then selecting transparent. You can rotate and translate the stock in the stock transformation dialog box. You can also scale the stock, but scaling in x-axis is not recommended.